recycling and the primary metals can make identical materials made to the same specifications and both can be done domestically in the U.S. if done correctly. Those are sold up to the cathode and chemical refiners and waste material coming back into the recycling facility. And then the same with cell manufacturers and vehicle OEMs. So having relationships with companies in each of those other three groups becomes very important as this is a, a bi-directional set of interactions. And it's important to note that recycling and primary metals are really independent in how they address these challenges. Better recycling can be very quick to market, relatively quick to put up facilities, very short processing times, and returning essentially every material needed to make a brand new battery if done correctly. But for the next few years, the throughput will be somewhat limited by the amount of material coming back from the market. So there is scrap and defects made during manufacturing, there's end-of-life vehicle cells, end-of-life consumer electronics and stationary storage, but there still is a cap on that until larger amounts of material comes back from the field. Primary metals are the exact reverse. So many years to bring a new resource to market, to develop new refining and manufacturing techniques, but then once established, extremely large scale can be implemented and brought to bear within the U.S. So we intentionally are pursuing both of these strategies, which really complement each other on a timeline basis and the ability to address each of these global challenges.